Hey everyone, welcome back to Camp Keyframe and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create this nice looking uh, data stream within After Effects and we're gonna just jump right in uh, by creating some lines here which will create our nice data stream. I'm using the letter G on my keyboard to create to um, select the pen tool. I'm just gonna click and then click and drag click and drag to make some nice curves. Oops, uh, press G again and you can click on this little anchor point and these handles you can adjust the curve with that. Um, hmm, something like this. Could be big enough. Yeah, all right. Let's go with this first, zoom in here make it fit actually and I think I can make this a bit bigger yeah there we go all right uh, what we're going to do is uh, let's create this first one and open it up go to contents shape one stroke one and do your dashes uh, open that one up uh, click the plus button first and then you can create some it already has created some dashes let's make them a bit bigger like this it's fine go to the next one and we just want some random lines here so we're going to create a dash and an, again on the plus to create a gap as well so make let's make this dash really big and the gap a bit bigger this and make so these really long lines maybe a bit too much yeah uh, okay let's leave this one like this I'm not liking the curvature right there all right then we're gonna create some uh, again and we're gonna open the stroke content shape one stroke one let's make these dots so we're gonna press them twice so I have a dash and a gap let's make the dash zero and the gap can be a bit bigger and i'm gonna go to round cap for that and then when i select round cap there will be little circles little dots so let's make this a bit bigger yeah all right and maybe oh, that's it for now let's give them some color the dots can be white let's make this one uh, kind of pinkish pink not pinkish full-on pink give this some purple bluish look maybe yeah and then if give these lines more blue some technologic mm -hmm. all right and now we're going to animate these in a loop so uh, let's go to this one first our dashes open it up go to your contents go to shape one and to the stroke again and to the dashes again open that one up and then we have our offset here and what our offset does is it offsets the position of these so we'll start at zero and go to like i don't know two seconds and give them an offset a couple hundred oh i need to make a stopwatch first a keyframe first for zero of course and then like 600 how fast will that go nice but it stops right here when it's reached the last keyframe it stops moving so what we're going to do is going to uh, press alt on our keyboard and click on the stopwatch and then we're going to type in loop out and then uh, offset which will be our expression i'll link this down in the, uh, in the i'll put this in the description so you can copy it uh, I'm just going to copy it for now uh, because we'll need it later on and now with this offset uh, expression it keeps on looping uh, for eternity all right and we're going to do the same with not with yeah this one go to shape one stroke one blah 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 dashes one dashes offset as well at zero and make this a couple hundred 
Alt click on the stopwatch command V to paste the one you previously copied. Nice, and let's do the same. This one doesn't need an offset or an uh, animation because it's just a straight line. And this one does, so contents, shape one, stroke. Same thing yet again. Press U to close it up. Right, it's looking mighty fine already. And what we can do if you want them to move the other way, which I do, then you can press this, wait, sorry, it's too fast. Uh, open this one up, go to contents, shape one. And then on your path one, you have these little uh, buttons, the reverse path direction. And if I do that, it moves the other way. So if I press U uh, twice, U, U, I open every element of the layers and I'm going to go to this one, this one, and here as well, press U to close them up. And now they're going in the opposite direction. <coughs> nice. Maybe let's get some like a 80s vibe going and get some nice neon glow layer styles. Uh, sorry, right click. I'm going to fast layer styles and then outer glow. And that's ugly. So let's give this like a, a purple kind of color as well make it a bit bigger and I see that this doesn't have a round cap so I can use my butt capper for that click that and then it's a hello round cap there you go and this has a nice glow coming off it I think it needs to be a bit darker though yep and then copy that layer style come on C and go to maybe this one, Command V. Open that layer style up, Outer Glow. Make that kind of a light bluish. Looking more advanced already. Nice. And now we're going to select them all, duplicate them, and then put them on top. And we're going to go to our rotation tool, or W on the keyboard, and then Turn them around, maybe offset them a bit, and let's make them another color so I can distinguish them, and then maybe a bit more randomness, change these parameters, kind of, now they're going in the opposite direction, now it's, if that's, I like that curve. If you like this, you can leave it at this, of course, but I'm going to uh, select them all, uh, press U twice, and I'm going to reverse that direction again, because I turn them around, and so I need to be turned around as well in the direction they're going. They're all going to the right, and you can change colors, of course, anything you want. Uh, okay, now, cool, looks and looking great already, and what I'm going to and now is I have this coin, this Bitcoin coin, kind of, and I want it to move through this stream. Let's make it a bit smaller. Let's start. Make it start here. Go to first. Go to position. Add a position keyframe. And right, right about here. And then you have these little handles. If I zoom in here, here's a little handle of this line, and you can actually create a bezier as well. So give it some nice curve, click on this one. Where are you? Oh, this does not have it, so I'm going to go to my pen tool, convert vertex tool, and then click and drag this. And now I do have one. All right. So now, pretty fast. Okay. And I need this to, it's still a bit fast. I need this to turn around. So what I can do is go to rotation, hit a keyframe, and then on one arrow's position, and I uh, can turn it around a couple times, and it, it turns around. But what I'm going to do right now is use motion for this, and I have this spin option, and now I can just uh, easily, and uh, it, it keeps spinning forever too fast 
All right, cool. And I'm going to uh, add a um, uh, click, uh, press Alt on my keyboard, sorry, and click on your position to add a um, expression. Press Command V. Uh, no, that's not a, okay. Then type the expression again. Loop out. But now we're not going to use offset, but cycle. And I'm going to copy that one. And what this does is when it's when the the Bitcoin is at its end, it will pop there it, it will start over again so it will keep uh, starting over so we're going to duplicate uh, duplicate this press U to open your keyframe this can be a bit faster maybe and I want the position to go from here and make this curve kind of yep and it can start a bit later Maybe uh, scale it down a bit. Duplicate that again. And it can be a lot earlier. And then maybe we can um, reverse the rotation so it turns out the other way. Oops, it's a bit fast. All right. Duplicate them. Oops. Select them all, Command D to duplicate them, put them on top by pressing Command and bracket, like that. And let's, they can be a bit later again. Um, change this up a bit. Oops. Yep. Just to get some randomness going, you know. Nope. Clicking the wrong things. It's gonna go a bit up or something and down. All right. So now we we get a steady stream of bitcoins flowing through, but we're all on top now. So what I'm going to do now is uh, oh, first of all, check this button. Of course, I'm going to select a few and just kind of put them in between like this. So now they're more woven together. And if I'll start here my B beginning and there you go we have this nice little data stream and if you want to let's say you want to make this a bit faster what you can do is go to your uh, to a line open it up and you can just or press U and you can uh, move the keyframe in and then it, it's because it's looping it will keep looping so now it will be a lot faster so if I go to my press U on all of these and I want them all to be faster and I'll just drag them all in and then they'll be a lot faster I don't like that though yeah and if you want some more just duplicate all of these for example put them down by pressing command uh, begin bracket uh, yeah and then you can like maybe do this and then do that again to get a lot of craziness going it can be a bit heavy on your computer with all these glow effects on them but um, it does create it's, it's uh, like a really busy intersection <laughs> right now Maybe more like this. Ease that down a little bit. So that's a data stream if you ask me. Uh, yeah, cool. So that's it. Uh, easy little trick with some expressions to create a looping uh, data stream. And if you want to animate these lines in, you can of course use trim paths to animate them in the screen. But if you just want a looping data stream, then you can do use these tricks and tips. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next Camp Keyframe tutorial. Thanks, bye-bye.